Hi guys, I'm going to test the, it's not actually a test, but a pre-test of the Stream uh, DLG. I'm uh, pre-testing it without any blade, a throwing blade, since uh, I haven't decided yet which of the uh, two options I have uh, blades to use. I personally prefer the Steigeisen blade, even though the Stream blade is uh, high quality and a nice shape, but uh, I'm most comfortable with the stream blade uh, with the stick blade, since I'm using it uh, with all of my uh, other gliders. Uh, I'm going to launch it uh, by holding the wing tip very gently. I'm not going to launch it uh, very high, and I'll try to catch some uh, low altitude thermals and uh, we'll see how this plane behaves uh, in today's weather it's a pretty warm light w light wind uh, two maybe two three meters per uh, second and let's start Okay, let's try again. I um, I pretty much uh, set it up uh, according to the manufacturer uh, setup. It's uh, the Elrons uh, cruise uh, mode. It's uh, two, 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 three millimeters uh, camber down. Uh, speed mode. It's uh, natural with the wing. Um, and thermal is four to five millimeters. Um, I'm testing now different setups uh, in order to determine uh, which of them is uh, most comfortable for me. I suppose each pilot has its own setup. I'll do some minor adjustments since it's uh, only the second flight I'm having with this glider I think I'll need to adjust it a little bit more let's go to thermal mode the plane weights uh, at the moment 260, 262 grams. This is without the blade. I suppose the blade will add uh, two grams extra, maybe three gram with the uh, with the uh, uh, epoxy glue. <clears throat> so I'm gonna end up with this uh, D-box version at uh, 265 grams. I think it's it's very good for light uh, air, not too much wind, but we'll see. I can't, I, I haven't found the center of that thermal, so I'll go back, put it in a, in a speed mode. And come back.
Okay. <sighs> Today the weather is excellent, it's warm and nice breeze, let's put in thermal mode and see if we can pull this thermal out of thermal, thermal mode go to back to cruise mode here is the strong breeze on my back feeding the thermal but I'm not sure it's I'm in the right thermal so I'll try to go back I'll try to take this thermal upwind I haven't yet uh, fully set it, set up the ailerons differential since, since I have to fly it a little bit more in order to know if uh, it fits my uh, flying style. Let's go to thermal mode and try to squeeze something of that very narrow thermal. <sighs> it's very narrow. Back to, back to cruise mode and search for another one maybe here above the road yes here it is The glider uh, signs very well. Um, signs very well any changes of uh, uh, heat up there. Means if I'm going through a thermal, it's uh, it it signs very well. Uh, I'm not sure uh, this is the correct uh, center of gravity for me. Uh, I have to fly it a little bit more in order to know if I'm comfortable with uh, this uh, center of gravity at the moment it's about 79 78 uh, maybe I'll try to make it a little bit uh, backwards in order to see if it's be if it behaves better or this glider should uh, be on a forward CG I don't know yet I'll have to examine it in a different uh, weather condition in order to determine I'm trying to determine which which of the Aeron uh, setup is the best for cruise mode I'm trying the natural, even if they they say that the natural should be the speed mode, I'm trying to cruise 
in that mode in order to know if it's better for that glider. I know that even the manufacturer profile says otherwise. Sometimes I find it much more comfortable for me to fly it other.